Hello, I'm Martin Dory and you're watching Adorama TV. Today we're back in the studio to talk about using your GoPro in the ProTune mode. I've been out and about shooting a few bits and pieces to show you how and why you might want to use it. Adorama TV presents Capture the Action with Martin Dory. So what is ProTune? Well basically it's a setting on your camera that unlocks lots of extra shooting options. Call it kind of manual mode if you like. Your GoPro is a really clever piece of kit and the minute you switch it on, it's looking at the scene and it's working out how much light it's got, so it's working out exposure and it's working out the best shot that it can possibly give you. That means you'll get a lot of contrast, an average exposure, great colour and really good sharp crisp pictures. Now that's fine if you're happy with it and it's gonna look great. But what if you want more control over your exposure, your sharpness, your color, your ISO, and your color temperature? ProTune is going to give it to you, and you'll be able to manipulate it more afterwards in the edit suite. It's going to be particularly useful if you want to match your footage, this footage, with footage from other cameras, like that one. And it's gonna be great if you want to adjust the contrast, or the color, or even the sharpness. Martin Dory here. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest competition to win some amazing prizes. So I'm going to pair up the camera with the GoPro app here to show you the options. Scroll down to ProTune, turn it on, and you'll see a whole lot of new options open up for you. One thing to remember though is that ProTune will affect your field of view settings. So when you turn it on, do check that it's giving you the aspect ratio you want. The first setting is white balance. Now this is all about getting the right color representation for the type of lighting you're using. There are five settings. The first one is auto, which is, well, automatic. And this is the default setting for ProTune. The last is camera raw, which is an unprocessed image of what your camera sensor sees. Now it's a bit like shooting raw on your DSLR but not quite. The idea is that you can basically go on and process it later. In between are three settings for different types of light. Now these are a measure of the color temperature of the light and they are measured in Kelvins or K. The first setting is 3000 K, which is warm light. So it's the kind of light you might get at sunrise or sunset or indoors when you've got tungsten bulbs. The second setting is 5500K, which is kind of standard daylight you might get at midday. The third is 6500K, which is the kind of light that you might get on a very overcast day or very white light. Setting the camera to each one of these settings will give you the best color for that type of light. Of course, if you wanted to mix it up or were shooting with a combination of warm and cold light, you could shoot using the wrong white balance, which would either give you very orange or very blue shots. Now the next setting we should look at is color. Now the default setting on your GoPro, even in ProTune, is called GoPro Color. Now this will give you beautiful bright colors, quite a lot of contrast. The next setting is flat, which will give you an unprocessed color with lots more detail in the highlights and the low light. Basically, it'll look like it's got a lot less contrast. It will look flat. But if you've got a scene, for example, where you've got lots of sunlight, lots of shadow, and lots of light, it will allow you to adjust the contrast later so you can keep the details in the low lights and also the details in the highlights. So the next setting we're gonna talk about is sharpness. Now this is the amount of sharpening that your video footage will have, and there are three settings. The first one is high. We'll give you a super crisp, super sharp image, like that one, which is typical of standard GoPro settings. It's the default, if you like. The next one is medium, which will give you a slightly softer image that you can maybe manipulate up or down in post. And the third one, low, will give you a soft image, now this is particularly useful if, for example, you want to match footage with footage from another camera, give it maybe a more cinematic look, and really take control over the sharpening. 
Okay, now we're moving on to perhaps the most important feature of the ProTune mode, and that's exposure. Now this will give you control over the exposure of your footage. Under normal circumstances, the GoPro will read the lights and the darks and the midtones as an average and give you an average exposure for those readings. What it can't do is take an exposure for different areas. So for example, if somebody's face is blown out, you can't control that unless you use ProTune. ProTune will allow you to drop the exposure by a couple of stops or overexpose by a couple of stops if something's too dark. So if you're fed up with losing people's faces or finding the auto exposure just isn't cutting it for you, this is the mode to use. Okay, that's it for now. Next time we're gonna be talking about looping video. Thanks for joining me today on Adorama TV. Don't forget you can go to the Adorama Learning Center for more tips and tricks. And also, subscribe to Adorama TV for more videos. Just click on the link below. And finally, please like, comment or share. And if there's anything you want to know, just get in touch. See you next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.